Good morning, everybody. It's Ishani. So today we are going to be doing a very informal get ready with me video. I wanted to play with a bunch of new makeup that I purchased from the recent Sephora sale. And I figured, you know what, if I'm going to be playing with these things, I may as well just do it on camera. We can test, we can try, we can talk about some new makeup. The highlighted products that I'm excited to test out in this video. First off, we got the one size BBB turn up the base cream. I also also purchased one of the one size cheek clapper 3d blush trios I talked about this in my recent makeup wish list video haven't tried either of these products yet these are actually the first products I think I've ever tried from one size so we're gonna test them on camera I've also got the new Pat McGrath labs concealer which I haven't tried yet and I know this isn't a new product this would be one of those semi new products you know it's been on the market for at least actually quite a few months now. It's new to me. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette. We'll chat about this palette once we get into the demo. So without further ado, let me zoom you guys in and let's get ready together. My tank top does not want to cover up my bralette straps. And you know what? It just is what it is. All right, let's put our hair back. Let's get started with some makeup. I've got my little donut coffee mug here holding my tea that I made this morning. It was a tea morning today, you guys eyeshadow primer going on my eyelid. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer today. I just went to Walmart recently and picked up a new tube of this. And then I'm also just gonna go in with a little bit of Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Stick in Copper. I love this shade. You guys know that I always gotta use some type of cream eyeshadow for a base for my powders. I just feel like it makes the powders just look better. Okay, so let's jump into the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette. So this is not new. I know a lot of people have hyped this up back when it came out. I never thought this palette looked that impressive, to be honest, but it wasn't until I saw it in person and particularly saw these shimmery shadows in person in. Oh my goodness, they looked gorgeous. We're gonna go in with Gratitude with a crease brush. I've used this palette a handful of times now and I have to say every time I've used it, I've loved the looks I've come away with. You guys know how into the kind of pinky eyeshadow colors I've been and this is a very unique kind of cool toned, pinky toned, purple toned. There's some kind of periwinkly blue colors in here as well. That color was a little pinker than I expected. I'm gonna go in and kind of balance it out with this grayish shade right here called Precious. Yeah, so we've got kind of like a mix of pink and purple going on in the crease here. And then to deepen it up, let's take a little bit of Aura and Mantra. We're gonna kind of mix these two dark shades. I'm not gonna lie, uh, the past week has been kind of rough. I have not been sleeping very well this last week and I don't know what it is. This has happened to me a couple times before where I just literally cannot sleep through the night. That's why I was up at a really abnormal time this morning and decided, you know what? Let me just get up and play with some makeup. The same thing happened to me a couple years ago where I just, I go to sleep and then I wake up almost every single hour and I wake up for the most like ridiculous reasons like I feel like I need to use the restroom I'm too hot I'm too cold I feel like I got a really important email and I have to check my phone and the hour or so that I'm actually legitimately asleep I sleep hard like I wake up and I remember that I was dreaming and every time I fall asleep I have a different dream so like the past week every single night I've had like five or six completely different very very vivid dreams okay so I think I'm gonna take quartz over here on my finger and pat that on my lid the last time this whole not being able to sleep thing happened to me it got so bad that I had to take melatonin and I know that's not like the end of the world a lot of people take melatonin before bed but in general I hate having to take like a sleep medicine because I've never really had issues with sleep. I love to sleep. I'm a big sleep person. I would sleep in all the time if I could. I'm not a morning person. I don't get up early. I am a sleepy girl. 
most of the time. Is this look going to be this boring? It's going to be like three colors and a very, very basic look, maybe. It's early for me, you guys. It feels early just because I haven't I haven't hardly slept. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of abundance as well. This looks like a really, really pretty purpley shade. I'm gonna kind of use it to blend the quartz color into this purple outer corner. It's very, very pretty. The shimmers in this palette, I will say, are just stunning. I'll go ahead and take a little bit of this matte light pink in Cherished, pop that under the brows just a little bit because the matte colors are very pigmented as well. If you guys have ever had sleep trouble and you found a solution to it, can you let me know? I definitely feel like I'm two days away from having to take melatonin because I feel like I'm going crazy. It's crazy how much sleep really, really affects your entire life, but like your mood too, you know? It's like, I just feel so out of it when I haven't slept. I also think it doesn't help that my neighbors have a dog out on their patio and like their patio is close to mine. They have a dog that I think they're leaving on the patio when they go to work and this dog cries all day long. I feel horrible for the dog, horrible, because it, it's like the dog is so sad, you can just tell. And I don't think the owners are home. I think they're at work or out for the day, so they probably don't even realize that their dog is in misery when they're gone. But also, I work from home, so I have to hear this dog cry all day long. It is so sad. It, it drives me crazy. I feel really bad for the dog, but also I have to work and I cannot hear a miserable dog outside my window. It makes me so sad. And the other thing is I don't know which neighbor it is exactly, the way my apartment building is kind of set up. I can't tell which apartment has the dog that's crying on their patio. So I can't even go to the apartment unit and be like, hey, just FYI, your dog is miserable when you're not here. So I honestly don't even know what to do about that. Like, what would you guys do for the dog safety and like emotional well-being and honestly for my own emotional well-being? So that's the eye look that we're gonna do today. It's not the most exciting or the most enthralling, but it is very pretty. Some of these shimmers though are amazing. Like this one, this one, this one. I didn't use any of those today because I just, <sighs> You gotta be in that type of a mood. I have to be wanting a very fun, exciting eye look to use those colors. And right now, I just wanna sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper lash line. I might do a little bit of a wing. I might put on some very, very minimal false lashes today just to make myself feel a little glam since the eyeshadow, while it is fun, it's not as fun as we could have gone today, but I think some falsies will do the trick. Alrighty guys, so we've got my wings on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some fallout under my eyes. There really isn't too much, but there's a little bit of sparkle I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna wet my beauty blender, and then we're gonna get into playing with some of the one size products. Let's go in with my basic face priming routine. We've got YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. Getting back to the sleep thing, um, one of my potential solutions to help myself go to bed was to read a book. I feel like it's one of those classic things that everyone says, it's like, read before bed, it'll make you super sleepy. And then we've got Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, so I had a couple of books on my to read list, it was on my Kindle, so I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and read. Now, to be honest, I think that reading trick only works if the books you're reading aren't terrible. I am sorry. I know that this author, this particular author, has a really big like cult following, but I decided to read another Jillian Flynn book. I think that's her name. Um, she has a couple books. I think she's the one who wrote Gone Girl. That's definitely her most popular book, but she has a couple other ones out. And so I decided to read the one called Sharp Objects. I gotta say, um, 
I don't recommend. I'm a big fan of like gruesome crime stories, very like twisted storylines in general. I'm the person that watches American Horror Story every single year by myself. I cuddle up on my couch and I watch a really, really twisted miniseries. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, this book sucked. I just gotta say, I did not like it. I need some book recommendations from you guys, especially if you guys love the like crime, thriller, mystery, twisted, detective type stuff. I love stuff like that. But uh, Sharp Objects, wasn't it? Okay, now let's get to the fun part. The Turn Up the Bass, BBB Cream, Beauty Blur, Balm. I am really excited to try this. The shade I got is medium dark two, which is described as a medium dark with golden undertones. The texture is definitely thick, as you guys can see. It's not very runny. It's like, it's a cream. I don't wanna over apply. I'm gonna do like small layers. When I color matched myself, this shade definitely looked a little light for me. I think it oxidizes a bit on the skin, but the other shade that was one up was much too dark. And through trial and error, I have realized that I would rather go a shade lighter than a shade darker because the lighter shade, I can always deepen up a bit with some bronzer or some darker powder if needed. But if I go too dark, I'm kind of screwed in that case. So this BBB cream is supposed to have medium coverage with like a soft matte finish. I was really excited to try this after my Kosas revealer fail. If you guys watched my video on that, my goodness, that was an absolute train wreck of a foundation, I have to say. So that went on really, really nice. Um, the color is maybe the slightest bit light, but it's not super noticeable. And I am gonna go in with some kind of contouring products to at least deepen up the areas that need to be a little deeper. It really, really blended into my skin. I mean, it doesn't emphasize my pores, which we know I'm uh, kind of scared of post Kosas. Definitely gave me a medium uh, finish. I'm gonna go ahead and build it up a little bit, particularly on the areas of my skin where I feel like I might need a little bit more coverage. And I watched Patrick Starr's video on this product and he said that he likes blending it in with his fingers. I'm just always partial to my beauty blender in general. And I think with the thickness of this foundation, the beauty blender does work really well. You know what? I'm happy with that. It's got a very, very nice medium coverage. And you know what? I think I've just learned over time that I am just partial to a matte finish. I think it just looks better on my skin. Not like a flat matte, but something like the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation. That's my all time favorite foundation. Like that is the holy grail foundation of mine. And as much as I know the glowy skin and the kind of dewy, glossy vibe is really in, I just, I don't know, the matte finish, it just, it's my thing. I think I just prefer it. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath concealer now. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer and I bought the shade M15. This was because of one of your guys' recommendations in my Sephora wishlist video. One of you guys told me that this was your holy grail. So here we are. Um, I am very excited to use this because apparently it's even better than shape tape. And there's a child screaming outside my window. That's great. I honestly might prefer the child screaming than the dog crying because the dog crying just absolutely breaks my heart. Yet the child screaming, uh, that I don't really care about. That sounded a little heartless, didn't it? Uh, I care about kids. Just, you know, not as much as dogs. You know what? This concealer 
looks really, really good. I'm also very, very pleased with the color match on my skin. I mean, it brightened a little bit, but I don't like my concealer too, too light under my eyes. And you guys were right. The texture blended in absolutely flawlessly. I'm curious to know if this is going to crease on me throughout the day. I will do a good job of setting it because it is supposed to be even creamier than shape tape and shape tape does crease on me if I don't set it. So we'll definitely set this concealer and the foundation. You know, I'm going to give it its best shot of success. I really didn't think I would like it this much. You guys, you guys are incredible at recommendations. I mean, my goodness, like two thumbs up. Also with this BBB cream, I like the fact that it's in like a squeezy tube. You just pop it and then you can squeeze out your product there. I like that. Let's go ahead and set with Laura Mercier translucent loose powder. Um, the concealer is creasing. I'm gonna try to pat that out before I uh, put some powder on top. Most concealers will crease on me because I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes. Maybe I need to look into using like a concealer primer or something. I wonder if that would help. You know how we use eyeshadow primer to prevent creasing on our eyelids? Why wouldn't we use a concealer primer to prevent creasing under the eyes? I'll try that next time. Concealer primer, let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my current contour slash like bronzing obsession, which is the M Cosmetics So Soft Sculpt Stick. This is in the shade Nomadic. If you guys pay attention to the products that I'm wearing in my uh, video description, you guys have probably noticed that this is literally all I've been wearing for bronzer slash contour for over a month. Basically since I got it, I just, I can't put this down. It blends into the skin absolutely effortlessly. The color on it is just so perfect for my skin. I mean, it looks so dark on, right? But you guys see, like as I'm blending it, it just blends, it looks so natural. Definitely the best cream contour or cream bronzer type product I've personally ever used. And I gotta say the fact that it's in a stick form is just so convenient. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick and pop on some mascara and then we will come back and play with the 3D Cheek Clapper One Size Blush. I just uh, got up to wash my hands and uh, my shoulder hit one of these floating shelves back here and uh, you know, I just gouged my shoulder a bit here. No problemo, we'll just pat that off real quick. Pop a band-aid on. Okay, beautiful. Just a, just a little damaged, not too bad. I'm about to pop on my falsies, but I just had to celebrate with you guys because look what I found at Target the other day. This is the House of Lashes Lash Glue, the one that I have been looking for for literal months now, maybe over a year at this point. This glue has been sold out, but they recently restocked. I found it at my Target. I bought two tubes. I learned the hard way not to stock up too much because I remember one time on the House of Lashes website, I think they were having a sale and I think I bought like five tubes and all of the ones in my backup drawer ended up going bad. So I don't think this tube actually like closes very tightly or maybe just over time, the formula just thick ends up, but all of the ones in my backup drawer ended up also kind of turning into rubber. So I learned my lesson. I picked up two tubes, one backup and one that I'm using, and I'm so happy to have it back in my collection. And the falsies that I'm putting on today are literally the most natural false lashes I have. I have them on this side and I don't have them on this side. Can you guys see? They are the Demi Wispies lashes. I'll put a link to everything that I used actually down below for you guys. But these lashes are just so incredibly natural. They don't really add any length onto my lashes. Like my natural lashes are this long, but they add a ton of volume. You you know, they fill in the lashes, so your lashes just look impeccable. How many of you guys are on Utah Mom TikTok and have seen this stupid Stanley cup? The most ginormous tumbler on the planet. I mean, look how big this is. Look how far back I have to go, just so you guys can see the capacity of this cup. Yeah, I'm not kidding. 
I got on Utah Mom TikTok and apparently this is the cup to have if you're trying to be a Utah mom. I'm not trying to be anybody's mom, but I do like the cup. Okay, let's jump into playing with the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. The shade that I got is called Rich Betch. If you guys haven't seen what these are all about, it is a blush trio, as you would expect. So this top area has a cream blush, then you've got a matte powder blush and a glowy powder blush. Also, did you guys see Patrick Starr's Cheek Clapper, like the music video he did to promote the launch of this oh my god that was beyond iconic i don't follow patrick star regularly but i went to watch his launch video on this product because i just wanted to see what his thought process was behind creating these products and oh my goodness at the beginning of that video i did not expect to see a whole music video. And the best part was I was watching it in the gym on my phone and people around me could definitely see what I was watching and I did not care one bit. It was so iconic. You guys have to go see it. I'll link it below if you guys haven't watched it yet. It's kind of iconic. Anyways, let's go into this cream up here. He did say that these are pigmented, so to go slowly with them, which I'm already realizing is definitely the case. It seems like a lot of Patrick's items just have a ton of pigmentation. It seems like he always wants to get that color popping through, which is awesome. Especially with a shade like this. I mean, it's so deep. It was clearly made for someone with like a tan to deeper skin tone. So obviously it needs the pigment to pop on skin tones that are darker. So I appreciate that. Okay, I think this is very, very pretty. It built up very nicely. I went in really, really sparingly because I don't want to look like I got punched in the cheeks. I also really appreciate that he did put this little flap to cover it. That way, when you go into the powders down here, the powder doesn't kick up into the cream and make it all gross. Now let's go in very carefully with the matte. I wanna layer all three, so I need to do them very, very cautiously here. It's definitely pigmented, so a little bit goes a very long way. I may have pulled it in a little too close to my nose right here. Let me just blend that out a bit. Okay, and then finally, let's go in a little bit with the glowy powder. Let's see what that looks like on top. There is no lack of pigmentation in these powders. So if you're not a big, you know, really, really pigmented cheek fan, you probably won't like this. I gotta say, I like this a lot. I don't even know if I want to go in with any highlighter, to be honest. I think I just want to let the blush shine. So far, so good. On this Rich Betch palette, I will definitely continue using it. It just looks like the most beautiful, like, neutral berry on my skin tone. I am really, really liking this. Okay, and I think the final thing for this look is going to be lips. I'm going to use one of my new Makeup by Mario. These are the Ultra Suede Matte Lipsticks. If you guys watched my Sephora haul video, you know that I hauled the shade in Jessie, which was one of your guys' favorite rosy lipstick colors, and you highly recommended it to me. Upon your recommendation, I picked it up, I wore it in that haul video, and I wore it all day. I loved it so much, and I loved the formula so much that I went and picked up another shade. This one is in the shade Garth. Now, I don't know if I will love this shade as much as I love Jessie, but I'm willing to give it a shot. This one is described to be more of a cool toned brown. First off, I'm gonna go in and line my lips. This is a discontinued Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade 40. It was literally my favorite lip pencil of all time. I'm so sad that it's discontinued and I haven't been able to find a replica or a dupe yet and I'm very very close to the end here so I need to find a dupe like ASAP um, that's gonna be my mission okay so I've got my lips all lined let's go in with the lipstick now the texture isn't drying at all it's just absolutely gorgeous and this shade in Garth honestly um, 
way more beautiful on than I even expected it to be. I love this. Alrighty guys, so there we have it. That is my completed look for today. Standout products, the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. I know I didn't do a super fun look with it today. This palette can go very, very fun. But you know what? I'm showing you today that you can also get a pretty wearable, very muted look with it as well. Especially if muted is the type of vibe you're in the mood for. Um, the One Size Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, I really like this. Obviously we'll have to see how it wears throughout the day, but the finish was very nice. It went on really flawlessly with my beauty blender. I don't have anything to complain about with this product so far. And the Pat McGrath concealer, I think I like this, but I will say it is definitely creamier than the Tarte Shape Tape because it is creasing on me already. And that is after I set it pretty heavily with my translucent loose powder. The House of Lashes glue, I just wanna let you guys know this is really stocked so if you need a good lash glue go get yourself some the one size cheek clapper blush trio um i really really like this i know the light is going crazy on this cream shade because of that little flap but this trio right here absolutely stunning i am very curious to see the other shades and the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick. I mean, absolutely gorgeous on. The shade that I fell in love with is called Jesse. This one here is called Garth, and I love it just as much. And I love my Stanley Cup as well. So, you know, there's that. Please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on any of the topics I talked about in this video. What would you do about the dog situation that's happening outside my apartment? Do you guys have any good book recommendations? Because I genuinely need some good reads right now. And do you have any sleep tips and tricks? Because that is really what I need. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoy these kinds of laid back get ready with me's. Be sure to subscribe for more makeup content and I will see you in my next video very soon. I'll see you then. Bye!